before you go scrolling off to the next video, I'd like to share a big secret within the Word of God for you. This is about the rapture. Now, I'm not here to discuss when it's going to happen. This video is not about that. But I have something secret in the Word of God that's about that day and for your unsaved relatives or whoever in the world. If you're familiar with Acts 16.31, this is a very big parallel or parallel parable that's hidden in the book of Enoch. And I'm going to read it off to you right here. And in those days, a change shall take place for the holy and elect, which is us, the body of Christ. And the light of days shall abide upon them, and glory and honor shall be turned to the holy. On the day of affliction in which evil shall have been treasured up against the sinners, and the righteous shall be victorious in the name of the Lord of Spirits. And he will cause the others to witness this, and forego the work of their hands. They shall have no honor through the name of the Lord of Spirits, yet through his name shall they be saved. And the Lord of Spirits will have compassion on them, for his compassion is great. And he is righteous also in his judgment, and in the presence of his glory, unrighteous also shall not maintain itself. At his judgment, the unrepented shall perish before him, and henceforth I will have no mercy on them, saith the Lord of Spirits. So, this group here that will be saved, they're known as the other flock. They're the ones that will be saved. This specific group will be saved on that day. They weren't a part of the elect, which is the body of Christ. Those of us who are saved in the age of grace beforehand, that was already saved prior to the day of the rapture, because the door of salvation is closed. Excuse me, the age of grace is coming to an end on that day. And the righteous and elect shall be saved on that day, and they shall never, therefore, see the face of, of the sinners and unrighteous. And the Lord of Spirits will abide over them. And with the, that Son of Man shall they eat and lay down and rise up fo forever and ever. And the righteous and elect shall have risen from the earth and ceased to be downcast countenance. And they shall have been clothed with garments of glory. And there shall be garments of life from the Lord of Spirits. And your garments shall not grow old. Nor your glory pass away before the Lord of Spirits. So wherever you are in the world... There, you're, you're going to be witnessed as you're being caught up with that trumpet sound blasting and you're being caught up onto glory. They're going to witness you. Hallelujah. This will be their last opportunity for them to, these on un, your unsaved relatives, your consecrated loved ones or whoever they are, to be saved before, before the judgment hits the planet. And as it states in 1 Thessalonians, therefore let's comfort one another with these words for your unsaved ones.